Hello, this is Coach Morrison. Welcome to another edition of Life Academy Podcast. You know, today the world is at a crossroads. We think about ourselves, we think about our future, and I guess we're afraid. We're afraid of what's coming up because maybe we think that it's just going to be just like it was last time. Same old people are going to get back in office. The same type of jobs are going to be available. The same type of schooling is going to be available. The same type of things that we have always seen are just going to be repeated over and over again. It's like TV and media. They tend to look for things that are similar. The sequel, the reboot, everything seems to be just going in a circle. But you know what? As you look at your life and you realize that there is still something worth living for. A newness that can be found only in the mind. The mind of man. The possibilities that are so endless. If you look at the possibilities of things, you'll see that there is an infinite amount of possibilities that can collide to make a new thing. So, where do we find this newness? Where do we find this creativity? It comes from quiet time. Sitting down and being quiet. Letting your mind give you what you need. A lot of times we go into a quiet time and we ruin it. We ruin it by talking. The Bible says that if a person talks too much, they think they're likely to be heard, but they're just wasting it. It says to go into a place and be quiet. So if you want to see your future be more compelling, be more vibrant, be more exciting, go into a quiet space and sit there and just let the thoughts permeate. You might ask the question, how? Let the answers come. You may ask the question, when? The answers will come. Who? What? Where? Ask a silent question and wait for the answer to come. And when it comes, take note of it. Because the answer that comes is for you. To change your life. To change the direction of your life. To make your life shine. There are a lot of people who were able to wake up and discover a dream that they had, and it gave them something. It gave them the idea, the impetus for what was to become great in their lives. So, it's a wonderful thing. Do not put away the effects. Do not put down the effects. Do not miss the effects of the quiet space. Now, when a thought comes, oftentimes it comes fully formed. So we wait for something else to arrive. But it came to you. It came for you. And you put aside as being not that important. A fluke. Uh, misreading. No. Do not be afraid to take the advice that comes to you when you ask for it. It's like I remember one time my wife and I, we were at Disney and we were asking for directions and I I kind of found it amusing. What my wife would do, she would go up to someone and say, excuse me, how do you get to the next uh, exhibition like um, Small World? or an ant's life, or whatever it was. She would say, how do you get here? And they would say, oh, you go this way, and you'll see this, you'll go that way. And so they gave her the exact directions. And so she said, thank you. And we walked on. Then we met another person, and we asked the exact same question. And each time, the person gave us the directions. But she kept on asking, And I found it amusing. 
But when it comes to life, when it comes to the divine spark, if you ask God to give you direction, to give you insight, to give you what you need, and just be quiet, it will come. And when it comes, it is fully formed. So do not be afraid, because what was delivered was as requested, and it was for you. How many things in your life could you find yourself being part of? How much greatness? How many things could you find yourself being just so enthralled in and so mesmerized and so just filled with a sense of, yes, the finality of what you want has arrived at your door. It's in your heart. It's in your hand. You have the plans. You could do all things. But you say to yourself, nah, this wasn't what I wanted. It came too easily. It came too soon. It was way too complicated in my mind. Because a lot of times, steps you have to take, they're complicated because they're so simple. Someone will say to you, I want to lose weight. So what do I do? Someone says, well, eat less food and give yourself more energy. So what you do, you take in less energy in the form of food and you spend more energy in the form of activities. You say, oh, that's complicated because it's so simple. Some will say, well, just drink juice for a month. Go on the cleanse. That's complicated because it's so simple. Again, what you want will come to you. And when it comes to you, it'll be fully formed and it'll make your life shine. Don't be afraid of it. Don't put it aside. Don't say, nah, I'll wait for the next thing. This is your time. This is your thing. It's the, the genius that comes from asking. You know, it's amazing how the Bible talks about many things. It talks about how people, they don't have knowledge and they perish. How people don't ask so they don't have. People don't trust. People just won't do what is said. But no, we have to understand that the ways of the old, the ways of the, the sage, the wisdom of the, of the ages is here for you. Because you see, if it worked a thousand years ago, it'll work today. It wasn't considered to be ancient wisdom when, when it was first introduced. It was a newness. It was a new thing. It was the common thought, the common wisdom, and the common way. So, let's go back to that. Because you know what? It really works. If it works, use it. If you use it, you're going to see your life will shine. So, do not be afraid to go to that quiet place. Sit down, ask the question, and wait for the answer. And when it comes, your life will shine. Thank you for listening to this podcast. This is Coach Morrison saying that what you want is in front of you. Let it come to you and be amazed. Life Academy is for you. Have a great day.